Rolling. You gonna prompt me here, or do I just fucking launch in and okay, I have so no? Okay, so we were having this conversation, and you were kind of going on about autophagy and uh, fasting and decaf coffee, and so I figured it would be something that a lot of people would find interesting. So. Yeah. So I mean, uh, autophagy is like the hot topic right now, and some people like Rhonda Patrick have been great in bringing up the topic, but also I think that people have just gone like totally off the fucking deep end with this stuff where they don't realize that the natural state for just about anything is health. And if you, one of the key features of that is just don't overeat, which is hard to do in a modern hyper palatable food environment. But when you really look at the data on caloric restriction, intermittent fasting, the main benefit, the main benefit is that you're no longer overeating. That, that, that there's just no two ways around that. Now there may still be some benefits above and beyond that with like cellular recycling and autophagy and all that type of stuff. But there was a paper recently released that looked at exercise. Post-exercise recovery dramatically enhances autophagy, mainly in the muscles, but also in the peripheral tissues and the immune system and whatnot. And then, you, you, so that's an important piece. And so folks would rightly say, well, what about the brain? Like the brain's super important in this story. Well, coffee enhances autophagy. And I will, the, the decaf coffee, enhances it just as well as uh, caffeinated coffee. And for the people who like medium roast, it doesn't work as well as dark roast for the love of God. And dark <laughs> roast is the only proper coffee to consume. So skip your medium roast, um, you hipster shit bags, and uh, uh, go, go over to dark roast. But the point being is that you don't need this, well, one minute Zoe, you don't need this really onerous intervention. Maybe two, three times a year, you lift weights on like a Saturday morning, you don't eat until Monday morning, and so you get the benefits of the autophagy from, from the exercise. You drink some decaf coffee during that period. It is not going to prevent your, your, uh, uh, you know, your body going into the, the uh, autophagic process. Um, the, the decaf because, during that. The, the decaf morning. during that, because a lot of people, are, you, you get a, a kind of adrenocortical process while you're already fasting, and the caffeine is a little bit too much. So play with that. If you're like Luis and you can drink coffee right before going to bed, then fine. That's a whole other thing. But doing that two or three times a year and then just focusing on good exercise, good protein intake, not overeating, that's going to be so much better than this like neurotic obsession on like five day fasts and, and autophagy at all costs because you're, you're giving up the other side of the health equation, which is actually maintaining adequate muscle mass and, and just enjoying your life. So yeah.